Hello, and welcome to the fifth round of the Colorado Carding Tour. In this one, we're still a rookie. We're going to make some moves. This is only my second carding race, but it's the last one where I'll be starting the back. It's recog to help new drivers build confidence for their first four races, pre-finals and finals, so really just two days of racing. New drivers start in the back of the pack, regardless of where they fall. We're doing a quick run around my 2021 CKH Dean Ray to show you what we're working with. I'm racing in the yellow 206 heavy class, that means we run a spec Briggs and Stratton 4 cycle motor that makes about 8.5 horsepower and the minimal weight, driver and cart. At the end of the race is uh, 385 pounds minimum weight. I want to thank my sponsors. Um, and those who support me. Point Carding did a great a lot of work to get me out carding. They have been awesome in so many ways and in, in that they offer support at the track and even before then they have this program called Tri Carding where you can try out a racing cart and get a feel for what it's like to drive one. If you're even thinking about joining the sport you should when you're in Colorado you should check them out and do that. Here we are, coming to grid, or coming to line up for our rolling start. I am lining up behind number 21. It's Angela. Uh, to my right is Ryan. It's awesome. Ryan got to race. Um, he bought a CKR Stingray, and uh, he'll be racing with us for for some of the races. He. Uh, He's got other racing commitments that are keeping him from doing all the races. Uh, and he's about to go green. We're coming, we're coming around. This is the long sweeper. Some of you asked for a overlay to show some data, and I found this. Um, the race render is awesome, and it makes it really easy. This was like 20 minutes of work to get this up and get a, a decent overlay. And we start. All right. 21 running around the outside, we're coming on the inside, right behind Ryan, 46, you see the red line, he's also a rookie. We're coming into the first corner and there's already a crash, and I messed up. I I wasn't steady with my hands and I ever braked and the car spun. Oh, we trying to come around and there's a guy re-entering and we go through the grass and cut. All right, here we go. Um, 231 seems to be looking back at us, maybe checking his cart. Um, don't know what's going on with him. Number nine. We're catching him pretty good here. And we get around him. All right, we started in 24th. I don't know what place we're in. Um, I'm trying to make moves. Uh, let me look at the stuff here. Um, by the end of the first lap, we are in position 17, which means we 20 there was 24 carts um so we made up seven places in just that first lap some of it was that crash all right here we go um first lap wasn't great <laughs> over a minute the crash had something to do with it but try to make up time you can see that our peak speed is lower than in the IMI race. In the IMI race, we were topping out around 52 miles an hour. In this one, we're topping out around 47. That was a gearing change because this track doesn't have nearly as uh, long of straights. We went from 18 sprocket with or 18 on the uh, clutch and then a, a 66 sprocket at IMI to the same 18 on the clutch and a 74 on the sprocket. There, that was a better lap. 51.7, still not great, but we're picking up pace. I'm trying to catch this card up here. When we get closer, we'll see what the number is. A lot of this is just trying not to make mistakes. Ah, oh, I see Ryan's off to the side there. Later we find out that he threw a chain I think we have two short of chains, both Ryan and I. We've been having a lot of like thrown chain issues. And the theory is that we need a longer chain 
so we can use these stops for the motor mount because what's happening is the motor mount moves on our chassis a little bit and the chain gets loose and we pop a chain. Um, sad for Ryan. I hope that we can get it resolved by the next time we go racing. Another lap down, we're three laps in. This is a 16 lap race. So this corner right here for the longest time plagued me until I got advice from um, Tyler, who's also racing for point carding, another Tyler. Um, and he told me to continue my uh, pace all the way through, or to continue the corner, not to like straighten out after the corner and then try to start the corner again to get all the way over the other side of the track. That helped, and helped a ton. Guy in the white helmet is uh, still out in front of us. We see there's a, a pack out there. We're working to catch him. Hopefully he starts making mistakes soon. Looks like we're, we're closing on him right here. We have a bunch of distance on the straight there. Come around. Nailed that corner. That looked, that looked really good. Here, I found that for me, braking just a little bit helps me set up that corner, and so I draw a, a lot cleaner line. It seems on the exit of that, he was getting away from me. I don't know why, but I always seem to reel people in on this uphill. Um, it's either our fresh point carding motor, or good gearing, or um, the line that Tyler helped me find. All those seem to help. Coming around to the start finish here again. Got the number. It's number 91. Number 91. Number 91 is Thomas. We're getting closer to him. Shout out to all the people we raced with. Everybody was so professional and we had some great racing. Uh, we're starting to catch him here. This is kind of exciting. Give him a little bit of a tap going into this corner. I think he notices we're there. He looks back and he's like, all right, got to make this work. The guy in front of him seems to be uh, holding him up a little bit. So he might try to move on him. He sees me. I'm giving him pressure. Coming into this corner, he gets away from me a little bit. I'm trying to drive a line to try to find a way around them, but it's not working. I don't have the pace to get around them. And they get away from me a little bit. They went really wide there. That's that's a, a much slower line from what I've been told. Yeah, I'm catching them here. Here we go, up the uphill, into the hairpin. This hairpin right here is maybe one of the trickiest corners. Another tap again, and we see that he's going around the outside, and we just try to go along for the toe. The arrow or the draft matters a ton in this sort of racing, and we get around, and we fold him through for the pass, and we tap him, and we let him know, "Hey, buddy, I'm coming inside," and we make the double pass. Awesome. On to the next one. If you look, the the cornering forces we're hitting uh, that one it was a 1.1 g. And, and that one was a 1.46, about one and a half G's is as many as much as you pull. It's pretty intense driving one of these things. The the video actually does sort of do it justice. It's rare that video does, and I, I think in this case, the video gives the feeling of racing one of these carts. It is. Um, you're right on the ground. It's much faster than you would think 45 miles an hour would feel around this tight course. You're right on the edge of traction. Duro tires that we run are spec tire and they're not great. And what that means is you have really, you have relatively limited traction because they're such hard tires. And it takes a while for them to heat up. My uh, best lap of this race was the 11th lap 
which um, is crazy. It, <laughs> it uh, most most of the fast people, if I'm looking at looking at the results here, uh, their best laps are four, five, six. I bet they drive their cart a lot harder than I do and get heat in the tires better than I do. But that's what you can do, right? Um, I need to. I need to learn how to drive more on the edge and get heat in the tires and, and work them a lot better than I do. One of the thing, important things I was focusing on this weekend was staying on track. That sounds obvious, but at my first race at IMI, I spent a lot of time off track because I didn't have the skills to drive at the pace that I wanted to, and I kept... I, I kept trying to widen the track. I kept trying to try to turn less, which is important for going faster. And I was just understeering and oversteering. And, and as you probably saw in my video of the last race, right there at the end, I dipped a wheel and lost a bunch of places. That was a bit annoying, but a good lesson that during the race, I need to drive within my means like I, I need to be aware of of my own skill and drive within my skills so that I don't and try not to make mistakes we're catching this guy in the red suit let's see let's see who he is um, pull some pretty high G's around that corner that, that corner at the bottom of the hill coming around feels you you can really feel it going around that corner here we are, the like sweep in the back. This corner is sort of a double apex or I don't know. The the various terms for that where you like you hit the apex, you wander all the way out, and then you hit the apex again. That right there is flat out. It's like try to turn as little as possible to carry as much speed. Bouncing off the rev limiter there. Once again, round this this middle corner that caused me so much trouble during practice and I've I think by the time we got to race, I, I had a better understanding. I got that one well. Yeah, all right, we're closing. We're closing, we'll catch him. I think this is number two. Yeah, that's right. This is, this is Kurt Harris. Um, him and I were really evenly matched. He... He seemed to have better technique in the corners, and I was catching him on the straights. I think my motor might have been fresher or something, uh, but here we go. We catch him. Yep, number two. This is Kurt. Coming around. He looks back. He sees we're there, and we're racing. He has a great line through there. He's using all the track. Coming out to the edge here. He wanders out a little bit. And this is something Tyler taught me was to actually stay inside there. And that always seems to work. I seem to catch people there. I think everybody who wanders out loses a little bit of time there. And I, I don't really understand why, but I'm able to replicate catching people. Using the draft here. I'm going to try to go for the pass. I think, yep, I made it stick. All right, we're on the lap 13. Only three more laps to go. And we'll see if we catch the next person. The next person in front of us is Angela. She's the one who started right in front of us. Um, she was uh, less held up by the crash in the first lap, that's my theory. Um, or she's just faster. She's probably just faster. Um, it seems that we're reeling her in a bit. We'll see. This uh, this is the corner. You see, I come in, I, I wander out, and then I come back in. And how much I wander out, I don't really know what the right answer is there. I tried all sorts of different things. With this corner, um, the trick was not to be as too tight to like minimal steering input there use the whole track that was good I didn't get all the way out to the right there but I made this one stick and held um, 
pretty high speed through that. I break a little bit for that one, um, but I'm able to carry a lot of speed because it's downhill. As long as I get the line right, that's the important part there is getting turning early enough to get up on that curve. Break right here. This is the slowest point of the track. We went down to 24 miles an hour. Looks like we're catching her. Here we go. This is lap 16, final lap. Let's see if we can make a stick. In my head, I was telling myself, look, you made a lot of passes, you're in a good position. You really should just calm down and don't make mistakes. This is this is where I made mistakes before. And I'm 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 half telling myself that, half telling myself that if I catch the car in front of me, I'm making a pass. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm coming around. A good line there. I'm I don't think I'm faster than her uphill. She has a good line up that hill right there. Um, but somehow I think I made a little bit up around the hairpin. Wander out. I come down low. And here's the checker. She beat me. We got 11th, which I'm really happy with. We started in 24th. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 places we made up in 16 laps. Granted, like a bunch of them were in that first, were, were as a result of that, that first lap incident. I got spun there too, so I made a mistake and, and I could have been better, but that's how we did. This was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. There'll be more races. On to the next one.